you doing, bird? Say hello to the YouTube community. Instead of trying to clean your cage, but you keep bothering us, little bird. Come, come on. Okay, stay. Now she's staying there. Okay, I need a bag to dump that stuff. Say hi, pretty girl. Hey bird. 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 Black on black always looking crispy. I'm back. I'm back with the testadas that I was talking about the other day. Uh, there's no meat on this, so I'm excited about it because not that I don't like meat or don't like to eat like vegan meat or anything like that because I eat everything. Uh, but the the ground beef that I have is frozen and it's late and I got to work tomorrow. So I said, you know, let me just whip this up. It's quick, easy. And now my homegirl, Madison Muckbank, can watch this and enjoy it. So, let me tell you what I got. I got some fresh lettuce I just chopped up. Got some jalapeno uh, uh, chilies on there. Um, those good tomatoes. You know, the, the, the ones that come on the vine, like they're all nice and... They're different than those. I think the other ones are Roma tomatoes or something like that. Got some limes. I got some purple onions. Some people say red onions. But they're purple. They're purple, guys. <laughs> and then I got some Mexican table crema for real. It's real Mexican table cream And then I'm gonna hit this with some coke man. I'm hooked on the coke. Thanks to Sarita So I'm take a little sip. Oh and some red salsa from um, Old El Paso <clears throat> So I'm gonna squeeze some lime on I'm gonna try the uh, I'm gonna try this one right here. Okay, this here is crunch, y'all. I'm going to talk a little bit about some par paranormal activity. Let's take a bite of this first. Oh, here, hold on. I forget the name of these shells, but there's a whole bunch of them coming in this bag and twist up with a rubber band. And now they have like a whole bunch of flavors too.
Hmm. I don't know what set me off with this. Munchies, your ass got. <laughs> Munchie with Munchies, my homeboy. Go check out his channel, Munchie. And Shishi. I'll leave their information in the description. But he was eating, um, I watched a video of his earlier tonight. He was eating. I used to eat him a Taco Bell. It's like a, um, a giant tostada bowl like this. Like, you can get chicken in it. All of this in it. This was, was from El Pollo Loco. I'm going to get into the story time. And everything that I'm going to mention to you is stuff that happened to me. And still happens to this day. Hasn't happened in a couple weeks, but um, <clears throat> sometimes it can be a little scary, freaky. I did do a mukbang a while back and, and break this down, but I don't think I titled it properly, so I don't know where to send you to go find that, but I'll bring it up again right now. Okay, astral projection. I used to hear this term being thrown around a lot. Never really knew what it was. kind of interested but didn't really care you know what I mean until that shit started happening to me so what it is I'll leave all the information you can go scroll and read for those who are interested in this type of stuff this is for you right here This is a tortilla that I fried. Okay, so basically, I leave my body at night. I think you can do it too once you learn how to do it. But this just happened like, it just started happening to me like without my control, right? So, I'll give you this one vivid one that I still remember fresh out of my head that happened to me like the beginning of this year. <clears throat> I'm on my bed over here and I'm in a good sleep. And then I just start dreaming like just some random crazy shit. Like you ever just dream some crazy shit and you're like, man, what the hell? So, I feel the tugging and pulling on my body, right? And I think I'm dreaming. But I kind of like, you know, you kind of wake up a little bit and your eye opens and you go back to sleep. So I, w I went from sleeping to slightly awake to slowly going back into sleep again. So it's kind of like I was conscious and then not conscious. And then I felt I felt the weight lift. It's hard to explain. Like, <clears throat> it's really hard to explain. But those who, who have this experience, like my homegirl Tasha, excuse me, can vouch for this. Also, she can uh, bear witness to it. To where we actually controlled it and we met we both left our bodies and met at a beach that we designed before we went to sleep this one it's i'll break that down if if you're interested in that I'll, excuse me i'll break that down too sorry about the noisy chair um so yeah so anyway long story short left my body <coughs> and i'm dreaming now it you know some dreams you know they're dreams and you know that you're dreaming but this dream, what do I call it a dream? This projection, um, 
my flesh was asleep, but my soul was awake. So I knew that I left, right? And I'm floating around this beautiful, it looked like San Diego, this beautiful, like, like I'm up in the air. And I'm always flying too. And I can look down and you can see the manicured, you know, neighborhoods and the sidewalks and the roofs and stuff like that. And then, um, um, I wrote it down. I need to find that paper. There was a dog that was significant in this um, travel and a dude with a suit. Man, you know what? I was so unprepared for this. I should have got those notes. Anyway. Forgot what it meant. We did look it up. But as as I'm coming down, I can feel the rooftop. I can feel the texture of everything. Like I can smell all the smells there. I can. It's like it's it's insane. Like to try to put it into words, it's just hard to describe. But when you experience it, it's a trip, right? So I went all over the place. Um, I've even actual travel on top of bridges and shit, like looking down and then feeling that like drop in my gut, like I don't want to fall and I'm way up. I'm just like, ah, oh. just looking down on it and you know, you can fall, but I have the power to fly, but it's just, it's, it's some, I have to do like a procedure in order to do it. It's, it's fucking weird. Though. <laughs> anyway. Coming back to your body, this is where religion and science clash. When you come back into your body, your soul really doesn't want to return because this body is dense, it's heavy. So as it's entering back in, right, you feel this weight on you and your physical starts to wake up. When you wake up, like me, I always wake up before my soul actually comes back into my body, right? So it feels like somebody's holding you down or choking you. Some people say it's that incubus succubus. I don't doubt that, but... You know what doesn't feel right and what feels right. Like, this is just a pressure. Sometimes it feels scary. It could be an entity. Sometimes it's just pressure. It's your soul coming back. It has to come back by the law of nature. But as it's coming back, it's still fighting to, to stay free because it's fun, right? Like, you're flying around and shit and you can do all kinds of stuff. If you learn how to control it, you can master it. And then, man, like go everywhere like the beach like I told you so it can get scary though like that shit hold me down because it feels like something invisible that's pushing you down and you can't do nothing about it and you're, you're paralyzing but your eyes are moving you're awake and then you start I start getting pissed because you can't yell, you can't get up, you can't move. It lasts anywhere between 30 to thirty seconds to like a minute, minute and a half. But as I researched it with my friend, I started digging into it because it started happening to me like so, so much. And I was just like, okay, what the fuck is this? Like, I need to know like what this is because it's not normal. I know I'm not the only one that's going through this, but, and even though I don't care what nobody thinks, I, I can give a shit. I still, for myself, want to know what the hell is going on. Like, what is this? Like, is there, is there, uh, do I have bad nerves? Like, something damaged? You know what I'm saying? I need to take some vitamins. What is it? Well, none of that. So, 
and I'm gonna see if I can get her to comment on my um, video. After I learned how to master it through like breathing techniques and you know your diet and getting your spirit and your soul right, burning sage, smudging crystals and all that stuff, you learn how to control it. How and why? Because now you know and you're thinking about it, right? That's why it's always, anytime you have a vivid dream, and it feels so real you can't tell the difference. Like how Morpheus was telling Neo and Matrix, have you ever had a dream, Neo, that was so real, you couldn't tell the real world from the fake world? That. You're always supposed to try to look at your hands, look at your fingers. Do that next time. Like, l look at your hands and see if you have your five, your, your four fingers and your thumb. See if you have your toes. Wiggle them. If you can do that, that's hard. If you can do that, then then the rest is easy. You can you can control you, you can control everything in that dream. So we made a plan that we were gonna see if we can both travel. I don't think it happened instantly, but we did it one night. So we talked about it before we went to sleep. We were like, okay, we're gonna go to the beach. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. The moon is gonna be lit off the water. Little caves. You know, however it looked or whatever. <clears throat> we're gonna meet here at this certain spot. The sand looks like this. The weather is like this, you know. Everything into detail. So we we met. I left my body, she left her body. We met, and it was insane. Like, never did it again. I want to do it again. But, um, if you've had this experience, like, like write me. I, I need to, like, link up with more people who, um, know about this and ha have done it. Because, like I said, I. Other than that time with um, my friend that I did that, it's always just been like random on on my on its own. I, it just happens, right? I don't have no control over it. I'm just sleeping, trying to get some rest to go to work the next day. <clears throat> this is gonna be messy right here. Let's see if I can eat it like this. Mm. Oh, that sauce dripping. Look at that. Oh, this one's lit from that fried tortilla right there. So anyway. Astral travel, astral projection. It's very interesting to study. <clears throat> Especially when it happens to you and you find out what it is. I can honestly eat like another two or three of these. See, Maddie, no meat. My homegirl Dina, see that? No meat. <laughs> and it tastes bomb, and it's filling too. The beans.
have so much good stuff to tell you guys, but <coughs> brain freeze. The story when I got chased by this whatever shadow thing. I already know the critics are gonna be like, "Nah, fool, you was high." You know what I'm saying? You was drunk. It was in your mind. Boop, boop, boop. This, this, and that. But, <laughs> I'll tell you like this. I, I, was, I used to drink and get high all my teenage life. I used to get tacked out blitz. So, a fool can't tell me what I see and what I don't see. I'd smoke weed, feel nice, get the giggles, laugh my ass off, get the munchies, and grub. You know, and then there'd be those times where I'd, you know, get really into a documentary, you know what I'm saying, or read, or, you know what I'm saying, just chill out and vibe, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the time, I was just eating sleep. But this one particular night, man, I'm, you know, we were getting twisted earlier, and it wore off, and we were eating, chilling at the house or whatever, and getting tired now, <clears throat> trying to go home, but my homeboy Tyrone's house. We are chilling, it's late. And then popping, everybody's falling asleep and shit. So I tell the homeboy I'm out. I take off. Well, I only live right up the street, right? Six, seven minute walk. How about to say Trayvon's? Abenita Palmas. All the way back to the park, to the south side, San Jose, four way. So I'm walking home. And before you hit this corner, it's this, this big, like almost like a horseshoe, and it goes around the street. Like the street goes down straight, and there's this long little turn like this, it goes straight, and then you can make a right or a left out, right? Anyway, at the corner, at that bend, there's this big ass beautiful house with these huge palm trees in the front. It, it, it was a big, big house. I, I would have loved to, you know, see how it looked in the inside and stuff, but there was some rich folks that lived there. Anyway. He has some big trees. And um, the hair started, the hair standing up right now as I'm talking about this. Started standing up like on my neck. And then I started getting that feeling like, uh, almost like Spider-Man, how he gets that, that sense before something happens. And sure enough, I'm just like, I started feeling that heavy, dark, weird feeling. So as I come around the corner now, <clears throat> First thing hits my mind is, dude, just run, run. Something's telling me to run, right? But I don't want to start running because I feel stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just thinking in my head, like, and I'm reliving that, how, how, I, how I felt there. <clears throat> so, and then something told me to look, but don't look. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to look, but you don't want to look. You just want to get your ass home, but you're curious at the same time, right? So, I did look. I turned to look like this. Like, I real, kind of took a double glance. And I seen this dark shadow figure where you can see eyes and teeth and the, and an outline, but it's it's the, it's hard to describe like what it looked like. But um, anyway, but it was behind a tree and it jumped out and just kind of looked at me in this weird grin, like all like like that cat from um. That's what it reminds me of that that cat from um. Uh, was it Alice in Wonderland? You know that cat with the stripes that was in the tree? Anyway. Almost had a heart attack. I turned and ran, y'all. I ran so fast. I was up, out. Cross the street. I got to get to the third park. That's where I was living. So I got to get through the first park. Get through the second park. Get to the third park. And I still got to run around and hit the bed like this and come around to the house. So I got a while to go. But I'm spreading, y'all. Running for my life, right? And I'm going... And this thing is right here behind me. Whatever it is. On my shoulder. 
telepathically telling me, turn around and look. Like, oh, oh, scary shit. I could laugh about it now, but that shit wasn't funny when that shit was happening. This thing was tempting, daring me to, to look back again. I like to say, no matter how fast you run it, fool, I'm right behind you. I dare you to look. I dare you. Turn around, Snoop. Turn around. That's like like a taunting like that in my mind and in my spirit that this thing was talking to me. That was, that's probably one of the most scariest moments in my life ever. Damn. 23 minutes. I got to go, y'all. Yeah. I did not look back. I kept running. And so weird shit was happening too later on during that week, but I'm going to give you all some advice. I'm not going to go into detail. Do not ever in your life, ever, 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 do not ever touch or play with a Ouija word. Period. Because you will open up some shit and you will not know how to send it back and close it. And that shit will fuck with you. All right? Leave it alone, y'all. <clears throat> Live righteous. Be good. You know what I'm saying? And um, just chill with positive people and that's it. You don't need all the extra stuff. I'm going to take one more bite. And, um, oh, thank you for all the love and comments and support about me hitting my 2K. I've got past it a little bit, I think like 2.30 something. So, my plan is to do the giveaway this Saturday, which is on the 7th, around 7 o'clock. It's probably going to be a little bit later, but I want to do it within the hour, because that's my favorite number, right? Seven. So, I got, I'm going to be busy. I got a lot of stuff to do Saturday. So, I got to get that ready because I want to have everything done. I still haven't got everything done that I need to yet. And it's because of work. I don't get off till 10, right? So, Friday's a no-go. Everything's long closed. So Saturday's a hustle as soon as I get up. Boom, got to do everything. Okay, so that was my vegan, if you want to call it that, or vegetarian, meatless, <coughs> tostada and fried taco. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll get my story times down. What was I wanted to talk to you about next? Oh, I want to read y'all some stories too if you're down with that. Like some uh, paranormal romance. Uh, you know what? Let me show you real quick. We've got a couple of them. But if you're into uh, paranormal romance, like I like werewolves and vampires and stuff like that, these are two great books, and I've showed these a couple times on my videos, but we'll go into these. These are four or five short stories. This is my favorite book so far. So some good reads, so I want to read to y'all, and I got some good feedback about it, so I'm going to start doing that soon. All right, folks. Not going to keep you any longer. Hopefully you made it this far through the video. So if you have any uh, paranormal experience, drop it down in the chat. Uh, if you have any requests, drop it down in the chat. And uh, if you like this, share it. Hit hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 2K giveaway this weekend, y'all. So take care. Stay blessed. All right?